Uh, my name is Imaswan Amowe Izodowa. Um, I'd like to talk on a very interesting topic about the word Oba and Ogisu. Often at times, there have been so much rancor as to the genesis of that word, the origin of that word. There are contemporary disagreement between the Yoruba people and the Benin people as to the ownership of the word Oba. As well as, there are also questions that have been raised on why would the Benin people change the word Ogisu to Oba, thereby creating two different dynasties. These are some of the questions that have been raised by several people based on uh, what they feel that history should be all about. I stand here to address that issue. First and foremost, there are no rivalries between Ife or Yoruba people and the Benin people as to the ownership of the word Oba. As um, they are, there is what we call a geological coincidence. The, one of the most ancient town of Japan is called Edo. There now in far that the Japanese people originated from Edo people or that Edo people originated from Japanese people. Mainly ideological coincidence. The old Roman Empire has almost the same architectural pattern with the old Benin people. So, does that mean the Benin people came from the old Roman Empire or the old Roman people came from Benin people? These are just merely ideological coincidences that pontate that there is an existence of God who gives different ideas, the same ideas to different people at the same time or different time of, of, of the face of planet Earth. So, also, the, the, the word Oba in Benin could Definitely, from my explanation later on, means has a different meaning from the Yoruba Oba. The Benin Oba has a different meaning from the Yoruba Oba. So, the Yoruba Oba means king, why the Benin Oba means God King. I will explain as, as I proceed. First and foremost, Ogiso. What does Ogiso really mean? Does Ogiso mean king in Benin? No, Ogiso does not mean king in Benin. What the word king in Benin is Ogi. Not Ogiso and not even Oba, but I will explain. Uh, obviously, uh, the Benins use invent, twist and turns of event to try and explain uh, with a word. That is what happened during the Ogiso time. When, they, when the, the first king of Benin, um, Igudu, became the first recognized ruler of the old Igudu Migudu people, he was recognized as a king. And if the Benin believed, the old Benin people believed that these people are not actually ethnic personalities. Instead, they now said Ogi, king, not Kisuri, the king from the sky. So it therefore means that the word Ogi in Benin means king and not Ogiso, nor Oba. So Iso represents the celestial, terrestrial, cosmological uh, uh, personality of these ancient figures. So it therefore means that Ogiso literally is explained as a king from the sky. However, however, we should, we should not understand that in a deeper form or deeper dimension of what Ogiso means, it means a God king. A king that has an, an heavenly personality, an heavenly background, a celestial background. That is what Ogiso literally, uh, deeply means, but literally means king from the sky. So, 
The word Ogisho means a god king. The word Ogi means a king. So in Benin, Ogi means king. In Yoruba, Oba means king. So but in, in Benin, what does Oba mean? Now, everybody understand the old Ekaladaram story, transcending into Oromi and all that. I don't want to go through. That is not the reason for this addition of our historical, uh, my historical analysis. Now, uh, we understand that uh, uh, there was a time I was with Prince Agatissa, the immediate younger brother of uh, our, our Oba. We talked about this. He, to him, he said, Omonoba Nedu means the child, the king, and the people. And I also said that I believe that it means Omonoba Nedu, the child that shines for the Edo people. Now, the, the, the concept of the word Oba is what we need to divulge during this historical section. So obviously there was a, a space, there was a vacuum leadership for about 70 years or so in Benin. And as well, when this child came in, in, in the form of Ewaka the first, the Benin people believed that this, having been a Republican kingdom, uh, a people, nation for this long, for 70 years, understanding their we, we, we believe so much in a monarchy system and not a republican system. So this child is bringing that heavenly light upon the people. Something, he, he, he is a divine figure that was sent to shine the light on his people. So the Benin people coined the word that was called Oba as titular or an appellation just like Ogiso was also an appellation. So, the concept of the word Oba, Nedo, it means the light shining for the Edo people. Therefore, means that it's not an earthly light, it's also a celestial light. Alright, something like a sun, the, the, the cosmos, someone heavenly that was sent from the heaven to bring the light, to bring more of like what the Christians will call salvation to the, the, the Christian faith believers. All right. That was how also the Benin people believe that it was through the ordination of the ancestors and God Almighty that this child came, having, having there been in Terregnum for about 70 years, to bring that freedom, that liberation from that republican seat to the Edo people. And that is why we call it Oba. Oba. It's a light, a celestial. So that means it is a king ordained already by king, having passed through the long lines of the Ogisos. I'd I like to furtherly explain. Now, there was, there was a prince in Benin called Prince Osifo, Crown Prince Osifo. He presided over the affair. There was, there, there was a, a sort of a matter that happened in Benin that Crown Prince Osifo presided over and when he was able to give a fair judgment, the entire Benin kingdom was a shock that there has never been any time that there is never recorded in the history of our people that a crown prince could be able to give a judgment as divine as it was. Then the Benin people now said, Obwezona bina Obanusa. Like he presided over this judgment like a god king who who seems like a god. So when the crown prince of Sifo eventually became the Oba, he chose that nickname that the Benin people already gave to him as the name in Inoyari Oba. He was now known as Oba, Obanosa. Now it is also the same. It's events that culminate into Benin people giving names. Benin people giving, it was the same event that said that this child, it's by the long lines of the Ogisho is already a king, but it was God Himself that made him to be to sit on the throne of his forefathers that have been vacant for about 70 years or so. So he stepped and I said, Obanahi. That therefore means that this is a God king. So literally, the word Ogisho and Oba means the same thing. Ogisho means God king. Oba means God King. So there are no disparity or conflicts of worth 
uh, these words mean. In Yoruba, they say that Oba means king. I don't know. But in Benin, Oge means king. But in Benin, Oba means God king. And as well, when we are addressing the Oba of Benin, we are not supposed to address him as king of Benin, but the God king of Benin, because that is what the word Oba represents. So these Enigis are to be addressed as king. So it's a God king presiding over these kings that oh, invariably will not call dukes. They are not necessarily dukes. They are actually kings in their right. Ogi means king in Benin, but Oba in Benin means God king. So I therefore propose, just like it was proposed many years ago by the Jacob Uwadiah when he said that Oromia is the first Oba, even in chronological listings, it was Eweka that was the first Oba until by Ewari the first during his coronation speech, October 22, 2016, actually put that part of history into the land like that. The first king of Benin was actually Oromian, and Oromian should be addressed as the first king of Benin. So I would also propose that the Oba of Benin, the God King of Benin, should be addressed as the 71st King of Benin because if we argue that the Kaladaran was actually a Benin son, as that Benin prince, there isn't any room for the breakage of the first dynasty from the second dynasty as the second dynasty is the continuation of the first dynasty and as well the, the listing of the kings of Benin, the god kings of Benin, must start from Igodo and ends. And, and presently we have a 71st Oba of Benin, which a god king of Benin. So um, I have been able to convince people from facts that the word Oba means god king in Benin. Why the word Ogi means king in Benin. So there are not discrepancies as to rivalry of the word who owns the term Oba. Why the Yorubas continue to maintain that they also have Oba? Fine. They have, we, history should be shared. And this is not time for we to, to create more, to make, break more bridges rather than for we to construct more bridges. So just like the other said, Oba Benin said during his coronation, that indeed the history of the world is shared, all right? It is not in our place to enforce or force our history upon others. Oba in Benin means God King. Oba in all other places could mean King, but in Benin means God King. Then the word Ogi means King in Benin. And that is how we should, I propose that we should be addressing the, His Royal Majesty, the God King of Benin, Oba of Benin. And um, in conclusion, on behalf of me, uh, my executives and my board of trustees, we want to wish His Royal Majesty Omo Noba Nedu Ukwa Polo Polo Obaiwari the Second Gidigan a a merriment, a fulfilling, a graciousful royal um, third year coronation anniversary slash his birthday. So we are wishing His Royal Majesty. Happy birthday in advance, and we are also wishing His Royal Majesty uh, a, a very awesome uh, third year coronation anniversary. And we want to thank him and appreciate him for being a God King to his people and being playing a fatherly role in the growth of Benin Kingdom. Because ever since he has been the Oba of Benin, we have had a lot of positive change and growth economically, culturally, historically, traditionally. And in all ramifications, the Benin people has improved courtesy of the greatness of Obaiwai. And Edunaya Ekbita, Ekbeiwai, Agyobase, Ludewa, Mando, Twirima, Mando, Kakabok, Bongwe, Reseya, Nounedu, and Mawe, Lewando, Tamawe, Manivye, Mawa, Kakabok, Gai, Mawa, Gwinoko, Nokaya, no kind of naya to hear the moon or bag a talk by you, he said.